Huh? What is it? It's some, it's when Zara says something that is very good for me, like, and you know, that I'm gonna be rewarded later. Oh my god! <laughs> I meant with food. Oh, I'm not so sure. Devon Adarabi, wee wee vlogs .com. I'm with Jala and Zala and Gashper, right? Did I yeah, say? yeah, it's Zala and Gashper, but we are actually on the way to change, to, to that change name. it to more pronounceable version, and we are um, we are releasing our first English single in early june so we i like the way you're answering but i'm not asking any questions you know just answers and answers and answers yeah. <laughs> love it so it, why are you changing your name isn't it obvious why <laughs> i mean no one can pronounce it huh pronounce it now that you've put me on the spot listen <laughs> let me get it right zala krauj <laughs> and Gasper Santel. It's Zala Kral and Gasper Santel. Zala Kralj and Gasper Santel. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> See, it wasn't so difficult. Wow, so what names are you considering? Uh, we have a name, but we're not gonna tell it to you. Well, yet. tell us the other names that you're not gonna go for. How about that? <laughs> well, um. There's macaroni. And you came with macaroni? Who, who suggested that? I, I mean, I really love macaroni, so... I mean, macaroni is always the answer, right? Is that because you eat them every night? <laughs> we were also considering not funny and the funny one. Which one? Like you and me. <laughs> I think that's already taken. See, the trouble with band names is, is there a book you can consult to figure out which names are still available, which names have been taken? Uh, I mean, ours hasn't been taken. No, because it's really your names, right? <laughs> but like, when you're coming up with a new band name, let's say Macaroni, is there, is there a... It's actually so similar that people are not going to even notice the change, I think. I think it's going to be Zala and Gashba. Close. Yeah, it's you are very close. It's probably gonna be Come to Me, Come to Me. Who wrote that song? Um, us. Oh, no division of labor here. You wrote all the lines together. Yeah, we, like, we hold the pencil together <laughs> and we <laughs> right. It's usually like, you know, she puts a letter and then I put a second letter and she the third one. And like, till we have the whole word. And etc. It's until the sun is yeah, not. It sun. takes uh, us three months to write a song. Do you know this actually sounds believable? <laughs> it actually sounds like something because you two. I mean, the energy is so serious, guys. You know what? Well, when I was going to interview them, I said for logistical reasons I need to sit in the middle. The look they gave me, like, are you going to separate <laughs> us? The love is real. Yeah, he said he's a home wrecker. Oh, I got a new title. <laughs> I've got to ask you, when you do all these rehearsals for Eurovision, and there's so many of them, as I'm sure you know, is it difficult to recreating the magic? You know, the way you look into each other's eyes, the intensity, the sensuality. Not really, but you know, of course, like I think the best energy is actually when we know it's for real so you know till the people in the in the hall are made out of paper we cannot really like get in so much as later but of course you know uh, it's it's cool we just kind of Oh, like close this intimate space between us and it's it's cool we don't have to act because we don't know how to act anyways. Intimate space in a big arena, how does that feel for you? 
It feels great. <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> you know, the thing is, everyone is like, oh, you're looking at Gasper, that's so nice. But I'm not even like, I'm aware not, of it. yeah, I'm not aware of it because when I'm nervous, I just look at Gasper like right now. I mean, not, I'm not that nervous. I hope but, you're not nervous. No, but you know, I We've mean, we've been having fun. <laughs> but all of this um, is kind of stressful, I guess, and I'm looking at Gasper like all the time, so I'm not. I'm not planning on looking at him. It just, I just do. <laughs> you know when you guys go out, right? Do you have like a secret language? You know, you know. Sometimes when you go out, <laughs> I'm saying this like, as if like I'm in a, I'm in a relationship. But you know what? I can imagine. You know when you go out with somebody <laughs> and you're at a place and you're not really feeling it and you need to leave. Let's say you plan, oh, we're gonna check out at 11 o'clock, but it's actually 8:30 and you're like, you know what? We can't go on. But you need to communicate. To Zala, do you have your own secret code of okay? How do we have our own exit strategy? Well, actually, there is a language and you know Slovenian language, but you just put um, P and the syllable after the syllable. So I would be like Zapalapa, and not a lot of people understand it. So that is something we do sometimes. And what does that mean in Slovenian? Uh, in English, it means Zala. This is so deep. This is so deep. We've got to talk about how Beyonce inspired you. I hear your new EP is called Four. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I got my sources in Ljubljana. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? I hear things. It is true, right? It's called Four. And you know what else I heard? That later on, at the end of the year, there's, it's going to be eight. Because there's going to be four songs in English and four songs in Slovene. It's actually going to be four because we're going to put, you know, štiri, which means four. Mm -hmm. And then four, which means also four. Ah. <laughs> we're going to put that together into a four. four, four <laughs> but the thing is four. that it's like štiri written štiri. down and four written with uh, F. Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> and then it's all together gonna be four as a number. I love it. I just love it. Love, love, love. So if you're really having a bad interview, as I'm sure you are now, <laughs> how, how, do, how do you communicate with each other this needs to end without me knowing? We just say, oh, uh, Spela, our manager, come and <laughs> grab this guy and just go somewhere. So Shpera is the one who does the rescue. Shpera, come into the scene. Go, 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 yeah. come, come sit down with us. No, come into the scene. No, but the thing is that, like, right after winning Emma, which we definitely weren't like prepared for at all, a lot. I mean, it was. I know Raven super wasn't hectic. that a super final, wasn't she? With the cows. yeah, and like everyone expected her to win it. It was yeah. also like, you know, it was all laid down and. Uh, we were like, you know, when media gets on you like through the night, it's like just, uh, it's super overwhelming. So without Spela, we would probably just hide in a corner of our own apartment and turn off phones. But we did survive first weeks with Spela, so we are really glad. Thank you. Thank you, Shpera. You know what? And you know what? I'm really glad because love always wins. You slayed at the EMA, at Eurovision. You're definitely one of the fan favorites. It's a really exciting feeling. How are you taking it all in, apart from looking into Gashpa's eyes? <laughs> I just do that. You just do that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fun because we're like we're authors in like originally and this is a whole show and we're not used to that, but you know, our music actually influence, influencing others and actually touching someone's heart. That's what why we do all this, right? And also this song that we sing here is actually reminding that us of that every time we sing it. Oh my God, you know what it reminds me of? The most beautiful song to listen to on an aeroplane. And trust me, <laughs> I fly a lot. Zala and Gashba, you've been beautiful, sensational, stunning. Look into the camera and give a message to your fans on We We Blog. Oh, um, enjoy and yeah, uh, watch out for cute pets so you don't uh, get too soft and uh, watch out for uh, 
<laughs> we we vlogs because if you know like they make us too comfortable and we say a lot of weird stuff here oh we appreciate you we and appreciate you yeah if you like us you should also uh keep up because our single is coming and it's gonna be in english and you will actually be able to understand it way more easier than this one and i've heard the single come to me G guys it's it's on fire it's on fire you know i'm here come to me i'm here we'll see you guys later bye